This video is on triangle congruences. So this video is going to talk about triangle congruencies. And what congruent means is that they're the same size and the same shape. And this is the symbol for congruent. So there are postulates that are used to show triangle congruencies. And we're going to take a look at five of them. The S stands for side and the A stands for angle. And so these are the major postulates, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and then there's the hypotenuse leg that we'll cover. So the side, side, side postulate indicates that all three sides of the triangle are congruent. This is denoted by markings. If I mark one mark here, I'm saying it's congruent with this side. Two markings, these two sides are congruent. And three here indicate these two sides are congruent. Here are two triangles that are congruent based on the postulate side, side, side. We can see that there are two sides that are marked um, indicating their congruency. So the third side of the triangle is the line in the center, which utilizes the reflective property of congruence. So the, these two triangles are congruent with the postulate SSS. So here is the side angle side postulate. As you can see the markings on the two triangle, you have a single dash, which indicates those two sides are congruent. Then next to that, you do have an angle in blue, which are congruent on both. And then you have the two dashes that indicate those two sides are congruent. So the order, you have side, angle, side, which is important. It doesn't matter that the orientation of the second triangle is turned, as long as the, the dashes match, this is a side, angle, side postulate. These two triangles represent the angle, side, angle postulate. As you can see, you have two angles, one here at the bottom, then you have a side indicated by the red mark, and then another angle. And the order of which these lie is important, angle, side, angle. So here we have two triangles that are connected. We can see with the right angle, we have an angle, and then with the two dashes, we have a side. And again, we have a vertical angle. So the vertical angle is here and here. So that gives us our angle, our side, and our angle. And on the opposite, we have our angle, side, angle. So this fits the angle side angle postulate. So here we have two angles and a side. And you notice that it says angle, angle, side by our markings. So this is going to be an angle, angle, side postulate. Again, the order matters. We have angle, angle, and then side. So here is an example of two triangles together. Um, the markings indicate we have an angle, then we have a right angle, and we have a shared side. And what does that mean? We have a reflective property. So if we have a reflective property, it's congruent to itself. So we now have an angle 
angle and side. So we have a congruency by angle, angle, side postulate. So this postulate is called the hypotenuse leg. And this only applies if you have two right angles. So this is gonna be your hypotenuse. And here it indicates this dash here indicates that those two legs are congruent. So this would be congruent based on the hypotenuse leg postulate. And again, remember, it can only be used when you have right angles. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you next time.